Okay, so the first step is going to be to uh, remove the router, disconnect the, all the electronics, and remove the um, uh, controller board and the power supply. So I'll turn it around here. Let's go ahead and take the router off first. Now I've got I've got the router I've got the frame ground, uh, grounded on the same uh, wire as the router, so I'm going to have to disconnect that. Okay, now I want to disconnect all the steppers from the controller. Where's the USB cable? Now these I think I can do by hand. Got stand up nylon standoffs. And I'll remove the power supply. Okay, now that we've got that done. Okay, so the next step is to remove the Z-axis assembly. Uh, now, to remove it, we could remove the whole plate, but I think to be easier, I'll just remove where it's attached, and I'll remove the plates after I have it off. So I'll need to remove this screw and these two on both sides. Plus, there's these two uh, corner brackets here that will have to be removed. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and loosen the corner bracket, and I'll do it from the Z-axis itself, and I'll just go until the peanut fall, falls down. And it should just come out. Okay, so that gets the z-axis. Now while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and get these plates out of the way. And, the, and I'm going to remove the handles. I don't think there will be a place for handles on the new MMXL. Okay, so that gets that. Free. Now we'll go back and clean this up later. I'll end up having to take this off to get rid of the ex excess T-nuts and reuse them in other places on the new uh, machine. But for right now, I'll set this over here. <clears throat> Gather up these parts. So this will be used pretty much as it is, except for getting rid of the T-nuts. I'll be mounting a plate on the back of to ride along the uh, new X gantry, but we'll set that aside for now. And so I'm, I'm, the next step is going to be to remove this tower that holds it up. What I need to recover from this is this 250 millimeter rear beam that will be reused on the new machine. So next, just go ahead and uh, remove all of these parts. Let's see. I guess it'd be easier to just go ahead and take the tower off. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and remove the plates and this short piece which won't be used anywhere.
when I was calculating uh, how many screws and stuff I would need to get extra, I had forgotten about all these 10 millimeter screws on the brackets here, so I probably didn't need any extra 10 millimeter screws. But I will, I'll uh, update a, a accurate bill of materials once I. I'm going to keep the parts that came off of the mini mill separate from uh, uh, the parts I bought so that I can tell you exactly how much additional you need. And so there's the nice clean piece of 250 that will be one of the supports okay, on the new machine. Bunch of peanuts. Okay, so the next step uh, will be to remove the old x-axis from the y-axis and uh, we we'll have to uh, remove the plate from the y-axis with the this will the it, the stepper and the lead screw and everything this will be the new x-axis but we'll use the different plate we'll use the uh, well well actually we'll use the same plate but it'll be attached to the back of the z-axis anyway okay next we're going to completely we're going to remove the x-axis assembly from the y-axis assembly and then we're going to completely disassemble the x-axis and partially disassemble the y-axis okay now if you remember the x-axis it is attached to the y-axis gantry with these four corner blocks and from underneath uh, into with some m5 screws into some t-nuts on the x-axis so we're going to take the end cap off of the y-axis and bring this out and then disassemble the parts from the x-axis and then tear the x-axis apart okay so the first thing i want to do is so i'll go ahead while i got the jog uh, screw on here i'll get it cl fairly close to the end I mean, first thing let me go ahead and get this spoiler board off get it out of the way Now, um, what I'll do next, I'll go ahead, get this a little closer, and I'm going to remove the jog knob. Set that aside, and don't forget the washer. I'll put that of a little shim. Okay, then I'm going to remove the end cap. Now this will eventually go back on the end of this axis, the y-axis, it, it, it will become the new uh, x-axis. So that get, takes care of that. And I want to remove the lock nut. Oops. Okay, keep all that together. And then I'm going to have to just jog this by hand to come all the way out with the uh, this will this is feeding through the anti the backlash uh, nut block anti backlash butt block nut block. So we just come all the way out until it's free. And there we go. So that frees up the x-axis. Okay. And just keep this stuff in place. I'm just going to put it back on there for a minute. Keep that together. Well, we'll work on that in a minute. Let's move that out of the way a little bit. 
Now, to remove this gantry, this was the Y gantry, uh, there are four screws here into T-nuts. We have to take those off, and then we have to remove the these uh, corner brackets. should free up that gantry plate okay now we will be reusing one of these gantry plates we won't we won't use both of them we will use one of them uh, but we won't need these nut block or these uh, corner brackets on here Now for right now I'm going to leave this assembled. Uh, we will be adding, be adding, this is, one of these is going to fit on the back of here, like this, okay, but we'll add a couple of wheels um, into these other spots here so it's a little sturdier. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that, I'll leave that separate like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we need to completely disassemble this because we want to use the uh, C-beam as one of the supports, just like this one. It's a 250 millimeter C-beam. So we'll completely disassemble this. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll go ahead and jog this out near the end and then remove the jog knob. Now we're not going to have a long enough uh, threaded rod on the new y-axis to have a jog knob on it. The, the, the 1040 is the longest length they have, so uh, we won't be using both jog knobs. Now some of these, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep the screws with what they go with so I don't have to go back and look it up. So that's what I did on the other end plate. I'll do that with this one. So all these screws will stay with that. And of course the bearing and the shim and the collar. So we will reuse that, okay? And so now I've got my other C-beam support. Okay, my other 250 millimeter uh, C-beam support. Now we are going to reuse this, but I need, I'm gonna need to, uh, I need to put our, uh, our gantry on there after it's attached to the Z plate. So let's see. I guess that's what these screws were. I'm just going to put these in there loosely for now because I'm going to have to take them off but just to keep it together. Hey, well, while I'm here though, before I do that, let me get rid of these.
Now I've also got these three T-nuts that held the corner bracket or the 93 bracket. And I will need some on here, but they'll need to be in the other slot. So we'll put those in later. But right now, I just want to put this together and keep it uh, together so I don't lose any parts. Okay, so that's going to be my new x-axis. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the nut block here. And then I'm going to remove these V-wheels. Okay, so that takes care of the complete disassembly, reserving the parts we want to save. Say I know this part will probably not be used, so I'll set it further aside. I know one of these won't be used. Uh, <coughs> so that completes the disassembly of this for right now. Uh, if we, what I'll probably end up doing is switching the stepper motor on this with a stepper motor on another axis, but I will take care of that later. Uh, I think that completes uh, the complete disassembly um, of, the, the, of, of the mini mill. Okay. Now we're going to have these screws. I have to remember what those were for. Oh, those were holding this on, I think. So let me put those with that. Uh, so when we come back, we'll start, I believe we're ready to start assembling the uh, MMXL. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these parts that I've taken off the mini mill separate from the new parts so that I can keep an accurate count of what you need to add to the to the mini mill parts to get the uh, MMXL. Okay, thank you for watching so far. Uh, the next parts will be more fun. Uh, I'll tell you, before we go on, or before I cut this off, uh, before we start building, uh, I'm going to cut both of these uh, one meter, one thousand millimeter. Uh, 20 by 30s, I, I need a 390 section, okay, for part of the base, which will match exactly the 390 of this, which is going to be the new x-axis, okay. So I'm going to cut 390 millimeters, leaving about 608 after the kerf of the saw, and so the two, the two 390s will run perpendicular to the two 610s or 608s and uh, that'll it, it'll be like I mentioned before it'll be like on the C-beam build to build the base and then these towers will stand upright uh, to attach this new x-axis to okay so uh, you might take a look at the C-beam uh, machine build to see how that's built up and you'll get an idea of where I'm going. Okay, thanks.